Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Well, this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and uh, Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading for May 27th to June 2nd, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards. <clears throat> and uh, we can go straight away uh, into the spread. Right. So... Um, <clears throat> The first card, which represents the topic for Taurus, that will be uh, the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the second one, which stands for the challenges that Taurus needs to overcome for throughout the week, that will be the Six of Cups. Third card that we do have, it regards to the positive aspect of the week that Taurus are to uh, face, that will be the Lover's card. And the last one, which is in regards to the guidance that Taurus is offering to you, Taurus, that will be the Seven of Wands. Okay, so once again, Ten of Pentacles stands as the topic of the week for you, followed by the second one, which regards to the challenges you will need to face throughout the week, that will be the Six of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect here, which is the ten, uh, the uh, Lover's card, excuse me, and the last one that we do have, that will be the Seven of uh, Wands, which stands for a, a Guidance. <clears throat> so Taurus says, uh, for what can be seen here, it looks like that that will be a very ordinary week that you're going to go through. It doesn't look like that there are going to be any ups and downs uh, which are to distort or rather throw into a turmoil, you know, your plans and as well your expectations for whatever enterprises you are to face throughout the week. Just on the contrary, guys, it, it does look like that you are to be surrounded by many positive people, people who are either to help you or at the very least, they're not going to create any plights as you move on forward with your undertakings. All right, so the first card, which is the uh, topic of the week, that will be the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles stands for a few, thi for a few things, and it does depend on what kind of a situation you are in. It will define how the Ten of Pentacles is going to manifest, but in the uh, <clears throat> overall grand scheme of things, the Ten of Pentacles, it points that you're going to be surrounded by warmth, in a sense of that you're going to be surrounded by a people who have a only positive attitude towards you. Additionally to that, the card itself shows that you are to have, uh, how can I place it, uh, or you are to start experiencing improvement into your family matters that could be into your immediate family meaning you know wife husband children or into your bloodline family meaning siblings parents uh, but the ten of pentacles as well <clears throat> uh, shows that you are gonna uh, walk away out of dependency if that is the right expression to be said Meaning that if you do have some loans to repay, you will be able to repay them or you will find a way how to repay back a debt, you know, or if uh, you are attached to a certain situation and you can't find a way how to walk away or how to escape that situation, you are to find such a way and so on and so forth. So yeah, you will become more independent as the week progresses forward. And lastly, with the Ten of Pentacles, 
it is very likely that there will be someone from your past coming around because the Ten of Pentacles, it is when, uh, you know, you lost a either hope or trust into someone and that someone comes around and tries to uh, win back that trust. So we can talk we, here. We, we may talk about um, a uh, ex coming around, you know, or we may talk about a, a good friend that you haven't um, Kind of like have a, uh, you you didn't have any interactions lately, and now you are uh, you are having the um, the opportunity to catch up, or that could be you know your coworker that messed up seriously back in the days, but now they want to basically make it up for it. The accompanied card here that will be the Ace of Swords. So the formation it is a uh, <clears throat> passive uh, passive enemies of what we do have, and uh, the Ace of Swords almost doesn't add anything to uh to the ten of pentacles as a matter of fact the ace of swords here only points you know that you should try to how can i display it you should you should try not to be um suspicious if i may express myself that way toward the um the unfoldment of your situations with those people which are having a um good attitude towards you or rather positive attitude towards you and uh, and if we're talking about, you know, that thing out of the, the where you are going to go out of dependency <clears throat> with the Ace of Swords here, uh, there is a, uh, how can I display, there is a, a danger, if I might say it that way, uh, you may be afraid to walk away out of that dependency for one or another reason. If I have to give you an example with this one, it is uh, if you are in an abusive relationship, let's say, you may be afraid to walk away from the relationship while everything you have to do in order to uh, stop the abuse is just to walk away from it. So uh, the challenges which are you to face, that will be the Six of Cups. So here the Six of Cups does speaks for some small, uh, some, 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 for, uh, excuse me, for some small uh, responsibilities which are just going to stand on your way and that you will have to attend to which um, these responsibilities are just going to deviate you a little bit from the pleasant experience that you are to have with either those people you are associated you are going to associate yourself with or you know with uh, this new um, sovereignty you are to create for yourself now important thing to know with the six of cups is that uh, even though response these responsibilities, small responsibilities are trifles, you know, they need to be attended as well because the Six of Cups, it does speak as well for a um, experiencing pleasure from the small things in life. And uh, as stands as a challenge, you will have difficulties or be, will be challenging for you to experience pleasure into the small things in life. So these small things, these small responsibilities are going to appear as a trifles to you. <clears throat> and uh, or rather a trifling, uh, a, a trifling setbacks for you. And nonetheless, you will have to attend to them because afterwards, as you resolve those small trifling responsibilities, you will be able to start expressing yourself creatively either into your career or either into your relationship. The accompanied card here, it is the six of wands. And now we can see why you are not going to be thrilled, you know, to jump into action into those responsibilities. It is because nobody will really care. I mean, um, you are not going to see an immediate benefit from, um, from sor sorting out those small plights. Okay, it's like, uh, for example, finishing the paperwork after uh, after a, a long day at work, and uh, nobody will really going to accolade you for it, but it is yours to do, all right? So these small things, which nobody really um, <clears throat> sees and nobody appreciates you of doing, and yet you have to do them, that will be the challenge that you will need to face throughout this week, May 27 to June 2nd. The third card, it is the positive aspect of the week. So we do have the lovers. As we said at the start, you are going to have many um, positive associations, which are with the lovers to create a harmoniously flowing relationships. Additionally to that, should you be single, the lovers point, 
the, throughout this week an opportunity for you to flirt and even to end up in an emotional connection with someone are not going to be absence there are going to be many of those opportunities but the best thing about lovers card guys is that many issues and many problems that you do had back in the days you know and that you are carrying on as a burden in this particular week are going to start resolving themselves or the very least you know resolution to those problems are going to be given to you so if you are feeling overburdened and that your life isn't really um, kind of like it's not exciting and it's a constant struggle, then throughout this week, May uh, 27 to June 5th, most likely you're going to feel how this burden starts lightening itself. It, it, it starts becoming less heavier and heavier because <clears throat> many of those uh, issues that you do that are uh, creating or rather like forming this burden are starting to resolve themselves. The accompanied card here, that will be the temperance. We do have in an active um, active friends. And uh, as I said, that you're gonna have uh, a lot of opportunities to become romantic, you know, and to flirt and maybe to create the relationships as well. It will be, I would have said that with the lovers, but I just wanted to see the next card. And now we do have a confirmation. It will be uh, important that you approach these situations with rather more, uh, not skepticism, but let's say more balanced fashion, not to jump into those actions prematurely. That is due to the fact that with the lover's card and additionally to it, the temperance, it does point that you're going to have many differences with those people that you have an opportunity to flirt with or to create a, a positive associations. So as you do have many differences, you know, although one relationship could be very exciting at the start, quickly you will start realizing that you are very different from one another. And here it is where the, uh, the threshold stands of is this going to be a productive relationship or is it not going to work out? <clears throat> Either a business one, you know, or a romantic one as well. So should you accept that the differences is what drifts you apart from one another? then this relationship will never going to be. But if you accept the differences is what makes you special to one another, well, then that relationship could go for a long run, either business one or either relationship or uh, either romantic relationship one as well. <clears throat> and the final card that we do have for you, Tauruses, that will be the seven of pentacles, uh, the seven of wands. So with the Seven of Wands, guys, uh, as a guidance card, it looks like that you will have to withstand a certain, um, how can I describe it? It's not like withstanding, it's more like resisting temptations, as we said about here, a premature involvement, all right? Because the, uh, the Seven of Wands here points that you're going to be tested either uh, inwardly or you're going to be tempted by exterior situation. And the other thing with the Seven of Wands is that you need to have that acute uh, awareness or rather sense of when is the most um, <clears throat> productive time or rather like when is the best time for you to make an action for. So uh, that's why it will be best that you kind of like hold your horses, if I may express it that way, and first uh, think carefully, you know, what you're getting yourself involved into before you actually... Um, you know, jump into a serious actions because with the Ten of Pentacles and with the Lover's card, involvement is always serious. There is no such thing like you can go there, flirt, you know, have a couple of awesome nights and then just walk away. It's just, it's not happening because strings are starting to build up and before you realize it, you will find out that you're hooked to it <laughs> and your, dependent, uh, your independence is gone. So yeah, that's that's why you have to be uh, rather very sure or aware that th this person you want to make a business partnership with, for example, or a uh, flirt and try to establish a romantic relationship with, it's um, it's the one. It, it is something that you really really want. Uh, so the accompanied card here uh, with the seven of wands that will be the uh, queen of cups. The formation it is a active enemies for what we do have and uh, <clears throat> basically what these cards are pointing here is that the temptation is going to come from your emotions the emotions are really what can uh, deprive you from seizing the right moment of action or reaction that is 
and uh, the emotions uh, could be a little bit how can I display it um, they, they could blindfold you okay and uh, by that everybody could do some uh, let's say irrational decisions or irrational steps moving on forward and that's why you need to find the strength within yourself to resist the temptation but nonetheless uh, Tauruses it looks like an awesome week here <clears throat> you will be surrounded by comfort you will be surrounded by friends you know by people who only wishes you the best and people who are willing to uh, help you with whatever you are trying to uh, cope with and the best thing, in my eyes at least, is that many of you guys are going to walk out of dependency and will start obtaining a big personal sovereignty. So that being said, Tauruses, this was your weekly tarot reading, May 27th to June 2nd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.